Okay, third example, which kind of brings together both the ideas from the first two. Um, you've got a trapezium here, so you've been asked to find the perimeter again. You've got three sides, there are four sides, so 8 plus 8 plus 14 will get you most of the shape, but you're going to need this side to calculate the perimeter. So you've got a problem in working it out. Um, in the last one we had a triangle and you could do some right angle triangle stuff. In this you are going to end up doing the same hopefully, but what really helps in this question is just drawing another line. So in here, and you'll find a lot of these compound shape problems, sometimes if you just draw the extra line if it's in the right place, or if you're not sure where, just draw a lot of lines and hopefully one of them will be right. This line is parallel to this, so by corresponding angles these must be equal. Also, because that's parallel, that's par this must be 8 centimeters. So now I've got a, in here a right angle triangle. This is the length I want. I've got one. If I can just find this, you should be able to use Pythagoras' theorem. Now, if you know that all the way across is 14 and this is 8, well, the difference between 14 and 8, so I can bring this 8 down here. So it's basically 8 plus what equals 14. The what is 6. 6 centimeters there. Right, so now you can use this triangle and just draw it like that. So I've got a right angle, 8 cm, 6 cm. Right angle triangle, you know that your C is the long side opposite the right angle, and A and B are the other two, it doesn't matter the order. So, <clears throat> A squared plus B squared equals C squared in any right angle triangle where C is the long side. So, 8 squared plus 6 squared equals C squared. Um, 8 squared is 64, 6 squared is 36 equals C squared. Well, 64 plus 36 is 100. So 100 equals c squared, so c must equal the square root of 100. Don't worry about negative numbers in this case. The square root of 100 is 10 centimeters. So now if I go back to the diagram, if c is 10 centimeters, for the perimeter of the shape, you just need the outside. So the perimeter equals to 8 plus 10 plus 14 plus 8 plus, I've already underlined, so I must be right. So 8, 8, 16, 16 plus the 14 is 20, 30, it's 40 centimeters.